Hi everyone, this is Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so happy to be hopping as part of Lawn Pond Fans Spring YouTube Hop. And also there's going to be a giveaway, so be sure to leave a comment on every stop to qualify for $50 shopping spree from Only One Life Creations. All the details will be in the description down below, so be sure to check it out and hop along. Alright, to start with the project, I'll be stamping the Bubble of Joy using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink since I'll be using Copic markers today. To make things easier for me, I selected one light and one dark marker to blend on each image. And for the bubbles, I selected one light pink and one light purple, and then also two light blue to blend. I thought it came out so beautiful and so subtle. Next, I'm going to use the coordinating dies to cut all the images using my die cutting machine. For the sentiments, I'm just hand cutting uh, the sentiments. I'm so happy you're in my bubble. I thought this sentiment is just so funny and cute and it's just perfect for the card I'm making. Okay, now I'm going to die cut uh, the, the scallop slim line with hearts using a brick pattern paper. But if you don't have this pattern paper, you can also use a stencil, and Lawn Fun has this brick stencil. And I'm going to use this front cover of the Watercolor Wishes Collection Pack. Since I couldn't decide which color to pick, um, by using this, I get 5 colors in one die cut. Next, I'm going to be using three Distress Oxide, uh, Scattered Straw, Tumbled Glass, and Kids Flamingo using my Life Changing Brushes. And as you can see, I'm just topping the color on my mat to get that really subtle, uh, light, blended look in the background. Now, I'm going to work on creating my shaker. I'm using this Scotch half-inch double-sided foam tape, doubled it up, and I like to cut it in a skinny strip. That way, it's very easy to bend to whatever shape I need it to be. And for the shaker bits, I'm going to be using some sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. And also these water bubble bead mix from AliExpress.
So these dies are actually from Mama Elephant. Uh, I'm pretty sure Lawn Fawn has the same kinds of dies, but I don't know. I just couldn't find it at the moment. All right, to finish the card, let's adhere all the die cut pieces using tape runner and liquid glue. 